Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, the time has been shortened and the prophecies will be filled without delay. The plague is approaching. Continue to use the oil of the Good Samaritan, Eucas leaves inside the homes, burning the leaves when necessary. Pray, people of God, pray tirelessly, so that the human skin disease would be promptly overcome when treated with heaven's medicines. Good day to my Christian brothers and sisters, and welcome all of you to our channel. In the name of Jesus, we pray that God will answer our prayer in a glorious way, with perfect wisdom and mercy. May God see us through and meet all of our needs. Let us share with you a message from St. Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria. Before we proceed to the core of the message, may you not forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel, so as to be able to access the latest messages from above. Stay with us and listen to this video until the very end. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so, and praise be to God. Here comes the words from St. Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria. Beloved people of God, you are blessed by the Most Holy Trinity and are children of our and your Queen and Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. As Prince of the Celestial Legions, I call you to open your hearts to the Divine Will in order to be urgently renewed before the time that is no longer time. You have been waiting for decisive events so as to know the stage in which you find yourselves. I firmly declare to you once more that you are in the final stage at the end of this generation. There will be moments of glory for the people of God, but these will come after passing through the crucible, once the faith of those who call themselves true Christians have been tested. Not everything is a tragedy for human beings, but for you to experience it this way, you need to have overcome your indecisions and to be one with the Most Holy Trinity in order to see and live the events as what they are, an opportunity for salvation, for purification, for amendment. This moment should not go unnoticed. It is a time to reverse bad works and acts, so that the action of the Divine Spirit would flood you and His gifts and virtues would pour out upon you. The human being without divine love in daily life is an empty creature, a cracked chest that is not suitable to be used for divine works, since for them love is necessary. People of God, Confusion is spreading. There should be no confusion for those who have the certitude of faith. They are creatures of God who do not participate in modern trends that are dangerous for the soul sown within the church of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, the time has been shortened and the prophecies will be fulfilled without delay. Humanity has been seized and led to suffer, and the demands on the human race are increasing without your being able to oppose the earthly power that is coming to light and showing itself as it is. You will have to possess the same identification in order to move, otherwise you will be totally discriminated against. The man of perdition is going through several countries giving instructions. Spirituality is an object of derision. You are being led to renounce spirituality. Be aware that the loss of the life of a person of power in the world will be a tragic reason for sounding the alarm. You must be generous towards your neighbor. Times of scarcity are approaching, not only spiritually, but also in terms of food. You will experience this soon. Do not hold out false hopes. Humanity will experience the worst famine ever. International organizations will not react to it, and many of you will be lost if you do not convert and do not allow yourselves to be fed by heaven. Human beings who are only mentally equipped for limited action by the Holy Spirit are hindering the wonders that the divine will has reserved for these times. Pray, people of God. Pray about the earth that, 
magnetized by heavenly objects, is increasing the potency of its core, which is in constant motion, causing great cracks to appear in the surface of the earth. Pray, people of God, pray. Certain islands will especially suffer from the shocks of the tectonic plates on the seabed rising towards the surface. Pray, people of God, pray for the conversion of souls. Pray, people of God, pray tirelessly so that the human skin disease would be promptly overcome when treated with heaven's medicines. Pray the Holy Rosary from the heart. You are blessed, people of God. You are blessed with the gift of life, which you should not refuse, but cherish. Those countries where they pass laws against the lives of the defenseless or the terminally ill will be shaken. The plague is approaching. Continue to use the oil of the Good Samaritan. Eucalyptus leaves inside the homes, burning the leaves when necessary. Spiritual conflicts are coming. Do not renounce the faith. Bear in mind that you cannot live the faith in your own fashion, otherwise you will let evil take its place. Do not expect what humanity has not given to God. Nothing will be as it was in the past. People of God, are you truly God's people? Be strong and firm in the faith. Do not falter. My legions are guarding you. Accept this protection, invoking the holy angels. Although it may appear that evil is winning, it will never have greater power than the Heavenly Father. Do not waver in the faith. Do not decrease in faith. Maintain your faith and serenity. You are not alone. My legions are all over the earth to help you. You have divine protection and the maternity of our Queen and Mother of the end times. Be assured that in the end, the Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph. Receive my blessing in one single heart, Saint Michael the Archangel and my angelic legions. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and may God continue to shower us with his favors and blessings. To finish this video, we recite a short prayer of consecration of families and households to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate myself to thee, and I consecrate my family, my home and everything in it to thy Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to thee our physical, psychic, biological and spiritual being and all that we are, have and do. Protect us, dear Mother, with thy light's rays that pour out from thy immaculate heart and hide us in thy lap. Do not allow, sweet Mother, none of the inhabitants of this home be lost. Give us thy peace and strength in difficult times of our test. May our faith in God and trust in thee, O sweet Mother, be the passport to arrive us safe to the gates of new creation. Amen.